Hey, sweethearts. Sorry about the really weird angle this is being filmed at today, but uh, it's not my usual angle when I'm filming shit, but... But what? Chicken butt. Um, but I can't find my little silicone easel thing that I usually prop my uh, phone up on on this big stack of... Actually, most of it is cone incense boxes right now. Uh, I gotta have figure something out when I get around to cleaning up this place. But so yeah, you're just kind of ba balanced precariously on this shit here. So this is another mailbox video. I'm going to uh, do, 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 cover up the address. So this is from my friend Fen. Um, he's ah. Uh, uh, he is actually, he and his wife are actually moving, um, overseas very soon. Yeah, this isn't my antique box cutter, and this isn't even an antique itself. Um, it's, a uh, it's a straight razor, it's a modern one, because the, uh, the blade pulls out, and you get to replace the blade rather than sharpening it on a strop. Granted, they make those still, uh, there's a couple companies I know of that do those, that still do those, but, um... Yeah, I can't find my box cutter right now, either. I think the cats might have bartered it for catnip or some shit. Uh, but yeah, so he and his wife are moving, and they decided to dump a bunch of CDs off on me. Um, uh, that's, that's a more roundabout way of putting it. Ooh, that's not good. Um, so, let's see. And, uh, so yeah, he just put a whole bunch up on his, uh, Facebook and, you know, people got to, um, pick which ones they wanted from his, uh, and Megan's collection, and, um, but yeah, they've decided to move to Malta because, uh, well, they're both openly bisexual. I can't remember if they have a relatively open marriage or not. I think they do. I think they do have a relatively open marriage. Plus... Um, he's trans male, so also, you know, female to male, like myself. Um, and Malta currently has some of the best LGBT rights in the world. Um, they have some of the worst abortion rights in the world as well, but, you know, gay people and trans people can be gay and trans. So, here's what I requested out of his, uh, out of his, um, what he and... Uh, Megs are getting rid of, um, before moving. Granted, their flight was put back by about a week because of shenanigans with moving the cats along with them. So yeah, they are moving the cats with them. They've got, all four cats have, um, have their EU health certificates, so... Plus, like, at least three of their cats are Sphinx, so... <laughs> which are an expensive breed, so... Uh, let's see, we've got Enya's The Memory of Trees. Please don't judge me. Plus, there's the fact that so many goths, case in point here, like Enya. <laughs> oh, yeah, they did, uh, so I've got, uh, also got, uh, Suicides, Self-Titled. These are all things that, um, I don't have myself that, um, uh, let's see, uh, Tara Vanflower, This Womb Like Liquid Honey. Uh, she and I are actually Facebook friends, and we converse often enough. Um, you know, it's, it's a very, ca you know, we're not close, but it's, you know, oh my gosh, Nosferatu, Prince of Darkness. I'm actually surprised nobody made off with this one yet, um, because I don't think they're together anymore. Ah, uh, Nosferatu's Legend, a collection of early recordings. Uh, one of my exes has this, and... You know, obviously we broke up, he kept it, because, you know, it's his, you know? There's no reason for me to take it. Plus, I think I might have accidentally made off with a couple of his other ones. And I guarantee, I, I'm honest, that, that's an accident. If he sees this and wants to claim those at any point, by all means let me know. I will find them and ship them back. Concrete Blonde's Bloodletting, another one that that same ex and I had, and so he kept it. Well, my ex had it before me, so he kept it when we broke up and moved apart. <gasps> Echo and the Bunnymen, Ocean Rain, 1984. I love Echo and the Bunnymen. Currently, everything of theirs that I have that I play on my show is an illegitimate copy I found online. Oh my gosh, 
Uh, the fall, we've got the friends experiment. I love the fall. Oh my gosh. I, I actually kind of, not, I didn't grow up with his music being super important to me, but it did, it did hurt me when Marky Smith died, um, earlier this year. In fact, like, I've got a, I've got a friend who was a friend of his and did some music with him. And, you know, so I, like, you know, that happened, and I immediately asked him, you know, like, hey, are you doing okay with this? Because I'm, I'm here to listen if you want to talk. Okay, then we've got uh, uh, Gene Love Jezebel uh, Desire. I love Gene Loves Jezebel, and uh, if you uh, found me via that uh, Skullgirdle, um, whatever, that one channel of hers where she does the weekly live chats on Thursday, I was indeed, like, I would choke a baby for a Gene Loves Jezebel reality show. Like, uh, I don't know if you're all that familiar, but, uh, the Aston brothers, they are not identical twins, um, or at least identical enough. I don't know if they've actually been checked out, if they're identical or fraternal, but they are twins. They at least, um, you know, uh, build themselves as identical for a time. And this was, uh, was this before or after all that shit happened? I don't know. This is a Cleopatra re-release from eighty, from ninety-eight. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm. Okay, this is a bunch of remixes. Okay, we've got. Yeah, it looks like all of these. Oh wait, no, we've got some uh, Jay and Michael Aston collaborative written ones. Too, so, okay, this is just a thing of remixes, but yeah, uh, Jay and Michael Aston, they are twins, uh, twin brothers, and they have not spoken without a lawyer, you know, as a mediator between the two. Um, so basically, like, they've only communicated, you know, via lawyer um, for, like, the last going on, if not outright, 20 years, so... <laughs> And I would choke a baby to see a Gene Loves Jezebel reality show where, like, you know, somebody kind of, you know, tricks them into reuniting for this show. And, oh my god, I would so... I would pay for real premium cable to watch that. Just, like... I love Gene Loves Jezebel, and I love... like, And they both currently have a band that they tour as Gene Loves Jezebel. Um, Jay Aston, um, he's currently touring as, like... They're kind of, like, on the, you know, like, glamier end of goth. He is a part of the gothic subculture out in L.A. He is a part of the goth scene out there. He doesn't go out quite so much these days, at least not when I was, go when I was living there, but, you know, he is a part of the local scene out there. And, you know, he does... Build Gene Loves Jezebel as, you know, a gothic glam band or a glam gothic rock band. He uses the two terms interchangeably. And then there's Michael Aston, who's still out in the UK, and um, his band, uh, at least um, for US releases, has to be billed as Gene Loves Jezebel UK or Michael Aston's Gene Loves Jezebel, whereas uh, Jay Aston, his band is. Gene Loves Jezebel, at least in the U.S., but for U.K. releases, is billed as Jay Aston's Gene Loves Jezebel. It's like... <laughs> and this is all, like, how it has to legally happen. Um, I have not had a copy of Joy Division's Unknown Pleasures ever. Uh, Joy Division's one of those bands that it took me forever to get into them. Like, I could barely stand uh, Joy Division for so many years. Okay, this one, this one, another one, a different X. This was mine, but that X, like, I'd accidentally left my copy of Killer Lords by Lords of the New Church out there um, at his place, and I requested that he send it back to me, but he, according to some people, he just threw it out. According to others, you know, he might have kept it. Nobody's really sure. I'm not really sure. I haven't thought to ask him. Uh, then we've got Red Lorry, Yellow Lorry, Blasting Off. Um, another Red Lo Lorry, Yellow Lorry, Generation, the best of... I love Red Lorry, Yellow Lorry. Oh my gosh, so many of these are Cleopatra releases. And, you know, this is, this is just like the kind of... <laughs> the kind of top budget that Cleopatra had when they were doing stuff a lot. I might have to re... re can I just, like, I don't know. I'll check. We've got so many oddly printed things coming out of Cleopatra. Uh, the Smith's Hat Full of Hollow. 
Uh, so yeah, this is... Oh, I think this might be a deluxe edition. Um, uh, Tom Waits, Early Years, Volume 2. Funny, funny fact about Tom Waits. The only country where his first album charted was Ireland, and it made it into the top 20 there in Ireland. Um, all of his albums have also consistently charted uh, at some point in the top 100 in Ireland. So the Irish love Tom Waits. Um, oh, Vendemian. Uh, transition. This was, yeah, this was, uh, this was a really small label. I, I kind of just barely remember them from going to, uh, the clubs in the, um, 90s, like Slime Light and Malice when I lived in London with my sister and my brother-in-law. Uh, then we've got, uh, Virgin Prunes, Hidden Lie, Live in Paris, 6686. That's a nice one. Oh, God, I'm gonna... Oh, and I've never had a copy of Shadow Projects In Tuned Out. Other than that, I have ha I have literally every uh, Ross Williams um, release. This is the, or at least yeah, every official release, not counting um, premature ejaculation. There's a bunch of those where it's like, you know, I only have the official releases from Cleopatra and Triple X um, records, uh, you know, which are just basically like re-releases of some stuff, compilations of other stuff. But yeah, like, not counting pr premature ejaculation, this, this now completes my collection of official, major enough goth label releases, so. Oh my gosh, and I did tell, and I did tell him that, uh, uh if nobody else wanted to take the London After Midnight off of his hands, that I would. Um, I do have kind of a guilty pleasure for Sean Brennan's music, even though, oh my god, he was such a jackass after David Bowie died. Like, he used David Bowie's death as, like, don't smoke, kids! Uh, seriously, like, who the fuck does that? And this, this is not a gift. This was something, this is, like, pretty much where my fun money went, um, for the month of December. Oh, please open up. Plus, like, it wasn't even lung cancer that David Bowie died from, it was liver cancer. Like, so it's like, he's even preaching against the wrong cancer using Bowie's death as a springboard. Like, seriously. Who the fuck does that? Plus, he just will not let so much shit go. Shit that the other people, quote-unquote, involved, you know, let go of ages ago. Why? Because that happened when they were 20. And he still does not let it go. And he'll go on and on about how, like, oh, yeah, I've got a restraining order, and... They don't because I'm in the... I'm like, dude, shut up. Everybody else shut up about this 20 years ago. Why won't you? Well, okay, 15 years ago, more like, but right now. But still, it's like, seriously, just shut the hell up. Everybody else has let it go. You're the one who hasn't, so... Like, I'm not saying I'm going to be picking sides, but... For fuck's sake, man, just let it go. So yeah, this is where my fun money for December went, um, so I had to replace my phone. I would have had a little bit more money to toss around with, but at the last minute, I figured, okay, I can just barely justify this $15, and the fact that I got away with only $15 for this, that made me so happy. Seriously? Alright, I gotta find my fucking box cutter. Oh my gosh. Why are we doing this to me today, Box? Speaking of that X with all the great CDs that I didn't get, so when shortly after, or maybe it was just before, no, it was just after because I remember this now because we at uh we found them at uh the place with the things. I don't know, but yeah, it was like just after we moved in together the first time. There's a big story about that X. Uh, we got the uh, the Silent Screamers from. Uh, Aztec Toys, with a Z, um, we got both sets. He got the Nosferatu and Renfield with his own money, so of course he kept them after we, um, broke up. I got the, uh, the, uh, the T Dr. Caligari set with, uh, um, Cesar and the Doctor, so, 
I am so happy. Oh, there's a little break here. Oh, well, it was $15. Usually, when I see the, uh, when I see these on eBay, we're looking at, in the area of $30 to $40 before postage, which isn't terrible, considering that they did a limited run of both the colorized and sepia tone sets. Uh, this one is a colorized version, where we've got, um, Orlock himself is a bit bluish gray, and he's wearing... Oh god, he's fucking wearing blue jeans. That's hilarious. Um, the rats are a combination of brown and gray with pink tails. Um, and his mouth is done in red. Um, my, uh, my, uh, Caligari figures are in sepia tone. Um, and as are Scott's, um, um, Orlock and Renfield... Or Orlock and Knock Renfield uh, figures. So I'm getting the uh, color. So now I'm. So now I got to look for the uh, for the. Yeah, he did this Renfield. So yeah. So now I've got to look for the uh, for the Orlock in colorized. Though I would prefer that they all match, but I'm like, you know what? I'll just find whichever one I can get for cheapest first, and then get the other one to match. So uh, so now after this, I've just got the rest of the Silent Screamers figures to collect, and I've got a full set and. Um, I'm torn. Do I want to take this out of the box like I did my, uh, my Caligari and Cesar so that I can arrange them nicely, or do I want to leave it in the box and just hang it up on a hook on the wall? I don't know. I'm torn. So I'm just going to put it away for now, but like I said, this was where my fun money for December went. Usually I have a little bit that I can, um, spare to just, you know, do something, you know, fun with just so that I don't drive myself nuts from monotony and all that. But, uh, so yeah, this is where it went, and it had a bit of an adventure. Uh, apparently the eBay seller, so this is the eBay seller I was talking about in one of my med vlogs, um, from er last week at this point. He had, uh, uh, apparently he boxed it up improperly, according to the post office. I mean, long story short, he gave me a bit more about it, um, you know, but first he tried to blame me, like, before he got it back from his own P.O. box. You know, first he tried to accuse me of giving him an improper address that doesn't accept USPS shipments, where my post office box is at a post office. It is an official federal post office box, you know? So, obviously, it's not my address that was the, that was the problem. You know, and I sent him screen caps of, like, the last three eBay purchases I'd made you know, which is as far back as eBay will keep it, like, you know, uh, well, actually, they keep it only up to the, to the last three months, but that's how often I've gotten something off of eBay that was really cool. Um, so, yeah, I sent him my screen caps, you know, showing, no, it's not my address, that's the problem. It's, you know, something you did, that's the problem, which is why it got sent back to you. So, yeah, this had a little bit of an adventure, and I'm actually kind of disappointed that the seller didn't double down and insist it was my problem after I showed him proofs that this was not my problem, and, you know, he, you know, but then again, he did go to the post office and figure it all out, and they said, oh, yeah, this was boxed improperly somehow, you know, so, uh, so yeah, he's gonna get, you know, positive response since I did get it, and, you know, he didn't double down on his stupidity, um, what was even stupid about it, I don't know, because um, it just looks like he, uh, I mean, I'm going to take a look at underneath the, uh, underneath the packing paper here, which is probably just from a paper bag, but I'm going to take a better look just to see, because I think he just wrapped it up again, and, you know, uh, he just, like, wrapped it up and put a new shipping label on top, so I don't know, I don't know, um, but yeah, so, uh, but yeah, it would be nice to uh, to have them out of the box and all arranged like my uh, Ca Dr. Caligari figures are. That would be cute. But uh, but yeah, okay, gonna wrap this up and all that. So, bats and kisses, sweethearts. And I'm going out tonight because it's New Year's Eve, and I'm probably gonna film a video when I get back. And hopefully, I'm not too drunk to film a coherent one. All right, take care. Bye bye.